Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to LDM Wrestling on YouTube as we bring you an international contest featuring British wrestling veteran Filthy Phil Powers against the American Steve Gibke. Well, the British crowd not endearing themselves to the American right here. And for the first time in a long time, Phil Powers is seemingly getting the adulation of the crowd as the Essex boy himself is making this crowd a little bit anti-American, if you will. So Phil Powers not used to getting the crowd on his side. Let's see how the Wiley veteran handles it. Steve Gibbigo though, is a lot taller than Phil Powers. He's certainly got a lot more muscle than Phil Powers. But what he doesn't have is the experience that Phil Powers brings to the table. Well, the crowd absolutely loving the Oggy Oggy Oggies and the Oi Oi Oi's. Phil Powers single uh, in that ring right now. Nice grovel hold on and goes for that wrist lock right there. And he's got this crowd in the palm of his hands, but he's also got Steve Gibke right now who does a nice little turn underneath and takes the wrist lock of his own. Some nice transitional chain wrestling right here from the American and of course from the veteran Phil Powers. So Phil Powers in a wrist lock right here. He's got several ways to get out of it. Nice roll forward, breaks it with the hands and takes it back up onto his feet. And it doesn't matter how muscular you are when, if you're Steve Gibke, when Phil Powers is twisting that wrist, you are in trouble. And Powers now goes for an Irish whip, but spins him through and flips him over, keeps hold of the arm. And Powers now once again in control of that wrist. Well, this crowd are very much behind Phil Powers. Gibke rolls onto his back and somehow he's back underneath him and Powers once again finds himself in an arm lock position and now into a headlock. Well, Powers taking down to his knee right there. Gibke in that big, big upper body of his controlling him. Powers then reverting back to some of his more devilish ways with a hair pull right there but goes for a quick cover. Only a one. Now takes Gibke out into the head scissors. And this is where Phil Powers absolutely thrives. On the mat, exchanging holds. He's got that nice head scissors in. Gibke can't quite figure out a way out just yet. He's working it now. He turns onto his knees. He's got to situate himself so he can get up. Look at that headstand from Steve Gibke. Nicely held together up there. Gibke is up on a headstand and Powers pushes him down. Nicely done there from Powers. He's not allowing him to get up a second time. Gibke now trying to figure it out, but Powers has him so tight there. And you can see him driving the forehead down, and Gibke is a bit lost right now. Well, Phil Powers doing a great job of entertaining this crowd right here. And Gibke is, is he ready? Um, no, he's down. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Gibke had his head blasted into the mat five or six times, and when he tried to get to his feet, he just didn't have them underneath him. Now well, they're about to hopefully get this match started again. Well, the Oggy Oggy Oggies are working well for this crowd. Powers with a nice single arm knuckle lock into a back row, into some wrist control right here. Powers forces Gibke down to his knees, to his feet rather, rolls through, and look at this from Powers, another turn underneath. He's really working that AC joint of the shoulder right there, as well as the wrist joint are being worked over right here. Oh, and now he's got, oh, look at that slap to the hands to really accentuate this move. Powers now pushing some more pressure. Gibke needs to start using his power and stop trying to out-wrestle the 25-year veteran. That's more like it. Oh, and a head bump right there. Gibke's head then certainly causing some damage to Phil Powers. This is where Steve Gibke needs to be right now. He needs to be on top using his physicality and brutality, if I may. And he needs to start taking Phil Powers apart. Don't try and out-wrestle the man that's been wrestling for more years than you've been alive. Now he goes for a cover. Powers then just kips him off right there. Very nice. Gibke needs to get right back on top as he does. Look at this work here from Steve Gibke. We are seeing Steve Gibke figure out that he cannot out-wrestle Phil Powers. But he can out-brutalize him. And look at that Gibke right hand right on the left hand side of Phil Powers' face. There's a second one and Powers cannot get free from these ropes. And Gibke has to use this to his advantage. Oh, and there it is, and now Powers finally is free from the ropes. 
first public warning. And because he was not listening to the referee, he gets his first public warning. Of course, don't forget. Oh, wait a sec. Powers comes around the outside. Goes for a nice schoolboy, but it was just a two count. Oh, and a big, big knee to the midsection, followed by a club to the back. And Steve Gibby back in control, back on top. Well, of course, in British wrestling, public warnings, you get two public warnings and then you get your third public warning, which is a disqualification. So it is essentially a three and out policy. Gibke slamming powers down and now goes to the middle rope. Gibke goes for dropping it, but look at that, the axe handle was blocked by Powers' foot. And now Powers unloads with the right hands. Goes and pushes him into the ropes. Midsection strike. Goes to Irish whipping now. Powers goes up and look at that close line. Well, on cup now, one, two, just a two count right there. Powers goes for a waist break. Vine turns it into the funk pin. Just a two count right there. Gibke was somehow able to get free. Now Powers gets back on top of that chin lock right there. Well, again, Phil Powers knows that he can out-wrestle Steve, Steve Gibke. But is out wrestling him going to be enough? Steve Gibke, a former LDN world champion, of course. Now powers Irish whip. Goes for a back body drop. Gibke goes over the top for a sunset flip. Oh, just a two count as powers got those legs and foot clapped with it. And look at that. Nice uh, move right there from Gibke and stunner S style move. But just a two count. Uh, powers is back onto his knees. Gibke then working his way to his feet. Oh, good catch of the foot there. Oh, now Powers has got a real opportunity. Turns him onto his stomach. He's got the ankle lock locked in, and this is a specialty move of Phil Powers. The ankle lock could well signal the end for Steve Gibke. What a victory this will be for Phil Powers. And he's still engaging the crowd with the Oggy Oggy Oggies. Oh, wait a second. That's the hot shot, Joey Scott. What's he coming in here for? Has he got alliance with Steve Gibke? He's come in here, he's gone right for Phil Powers. The referee is rightfully called for the bell, but now, oh wait a second, there's an alliance forming between Steve Gibke and the hotshot Joey Scott as they are brutalizing Phil Powers right here. Powers seemingly had the match won, and it's, look at this, it's two on one right here. Phil Powers, oh, tragedy for him, he's getting well and true. Oh, there's Alan Lee Travis to even up the odds. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, luckily Phil Powers is not as saved. And he will pick up the victory by disqualification. But my name has been Reginald Kensington III. I want to thank you for joining us here on LDM Wrestling. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to enable notifications. And head on over to LDMWrestling.com so you can find out where and when you can get promo tickets. But for now, this is LDM Wrestling. And we are British and proud.